in this video, I'm going to be showing you all the mods that I've finally added to my C8 Corvette. And what better way to start the video off than a cold start, sort of. It's been off for a couple hours. I drove it this morning, but let me show you what everything looks like. totally different. The whole car is a completely different monster and you guys are about to see exactly what I mean. So before we go out for a quick drive, uh, this video is really going to be just an overview of the mods that have been done to the car. Kind of what the power numbers are looking like as well, which I'm really excited about. And we may do a quick 0-60 to 60 time to see if that's improved at all. Let's, let's get things going. All right, so as I get to my spot here where we're gonna do some runs and pulls, let me break down exactly what we added to the car. So we added American Racing headers. Um, awesome stuff, really helps with the sound as well. Um, we added a new ported intake manifold. So the whole intake manifold has been ported for more air, AKA more power. We added a brand new throttle body from Solar Performance. And then we also added a Haltech Hornet cold air intake. So a full cold air intake has been added, um, headers, ported manifold, and a new throttle body. Now, I don't remember all of the numbers off the top of my head for all of those mods individually. I know that the Haltech will add, I think, 15 to 20 horsepower and torque. Um, the headers will add anywhere from 30 to 40 horsepower and torque. Um, and then the manifold and throttle body will each individually add maybe 10, 15 horsepower per mod, which is pretty solid. And I know overall we're sitting right at 600 horsepower. Hey, this is Future Nick. Uh, Rewatching the video, I want to give you some math numbers here on everything. So with some more numbers on the high end of the spectrum, so like peak performance numbers on everything, uh, we dynoed it. We were right around 600 horsepower at the crank, which is awesome. That's huge. Um, and then we, so 600 horsepower at the crank, that's with a 37, 33 horsepower gained on the, um, American racing headers around, what is it? I'm looking at it right now. The Hall, Hall air intake dynoed an increase of 16 plus horsepower, right? And 25 plus increase in torque. Um, on top of that, if we're using the blue, um, air filter that comes with the attack boot air filter that adds around like five horsepower gotta add everything i'm gonna i'm gonna take everything um the ported manifold adds anywhere from 20 to 25 some people more some people less and then the solar performance throttle body adds anything pretty linear across the power band um because at every intake level it's just gonna feed more air um with that throttle body and that once again people have said 10 i've saw 15 i saw 20 I saw some people saying 25, I think that may be a little bit too much, but overall around 600. So I just kind of triple checked everything. These numbers may be a little bit, like I'm looking at the peak performance numbers, right? So at peak in great conditions, right? Maybe it's a little chillier outside. Maybe it's not hot out. Maybe you're not getting choked by the hot air. You're around 600 crank horsepower, which is awesome. And regardless of that, you can feel a huge difference. Um, I don't want to cause an argument in the comment section. I think just that's right around where it's at. Um, either way you swing it, it's been awesome. Let's get back to the video. Which is awesome, like this is crazy. The headers added a lot um, and we, we did a couple of other stuff that we could to get the power up and it really, really helped. And overall, I'm really impressed with the performance so far. As you guys heard from that cold start, it definitely sounds, it, no doubt it sounds completely different. It's way louder. Um, and what, no, I wouldn't say it's way louder, but it's definitely louder definitely raspier. It's got more cracks and bangs and crackles, pops. It's like Rice Krispies or something. So it's super cool. I love everything so far. I'm going to drop this window for you guys. So hopefully you can hear what I'm talking about in that first video. Maybe you heard something, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to share this with you guys. The mods have been awesome and there's still a couple more small things to come, but let's get some pulls in. And then when I stop, I'll give you some more impressions. All right, so just waiting for this light. Now, I don't know how much sound you guys are gonna be able to hear through the camera 
versus what I actually hear, it's definitely going to be different. Um, but hopefully the camera picks up the sound that I want you guys to hear and you can hear the difference. The headers totally are causing a different sound to come out. Um, and I'm sure the throttle body manifold, probably the Probably the throttle body intake and the headers are making the biggest difference in the sound for sure. So let's see, let's see what everything looks like here in a second. Here we go. We're gonna get a good, a good little pull in here in just a sec. Kind of wait for some people to free up. Gotta look for this green light. All right, let's go. crazy it's a completely different car so first off it gets out of the hole way faster this car's stock is no joke okay it's crazy it gets out of the hole already ridiculously quick but now it gets out of the hole even faster and what I'd say is a really big benefit overall is that the performance at the top end has been greatly improved so I don't even know what to say. It's just like insane. <laughs> the performance is literally just crazy and the sun, the glare from the sun is killing me right now. It's crazy, the performance is crazy. All right, the headers, like just the whole thing, I don't even know what to say besides that this car, which I didn't even know if it could get any better, has gotten infinitely better and I'm so happy with the result. It's louder, it's faster, it pulls harder, so. I'm really excited with the result that we've been able to get from this thing. It's super cool. Alright, so the last thing I want to do before I end off this video is try out a 0-60 to 60 time. So I'm going to take a loop real quick, go through, run a 0-60. to 60. I've got everything set up in track mode and in the most aggressive setting. We're going to see what we can do with all the mods. So let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can get a really good 0-60. to 60. All right, coming back up on the spot now. We're about to run a zero to 60 and see what this thing can do. This is gonna be crazy. I'm just gonna put the camera down and give it my all and hope for the best. So, uh, we'll see. Let's, let's see what happens. I'll leave this window down too because you can hear the sound. So, let's, let's get this going. Ah, uh, another car pulled in. I gotta get this to where there are no cars pulling in and blocking my stuff. Okay, we're gonna try again. Alright, so, okay, how's it going? We got a weird camera angle here, but that's because I'm trying to get a 0-60 to 60 time. I'm not gonna hold the camera, I'm just gonna let it sit there. I'm waiting for no cars to be coming on this road so I can get a good time. So it looks like we're in the all clear. And let's give this thing a shot. This is going to be crazy. Let's see what we can get. All right, race mode, track, here it goes. Gosh, that just threw us back so hard. That was crazy. You're gonna need to stick around for the next video to see the timing on that. I broke the camera. Basically, the focus isn't coming back. Well, with that being said, that's it for this video. If you guys are excited for more videos of these mods and to see all the numbers, zero to 60, quarter mile. Let's zoom in and out here real quick, see if it helps. Zero to 60, quarter mile. 
stay tuned because we're going to have a lot more coming and I'm really excited for you guys to see everything going on with this car. I'll see you in the next one.